SpaceX has just announced the new launch date for the highly anticipated Starship Flight 5, and we can't stop holding on to the edges of our seats in anticipation. But that's not all. New information just revealed that SpaceX is secretly making plans to land Starship rockets off the coast of Australia. So, get ready as we take an inside look at these game-changing updates. Just when we thought we had the timeline down, Elon Musk and his team threw us a curveball. As we all remember, the previous Starship launch was a monumental event that achieved its primary objectives and nearly accomplished the intended goals of the prototype integrated flight evaluation. Well, SpaceX has been diligently working on the new Starships, so naturally, fans assumed they would be well on their way to the integrated flight test, IFT-5. However, before reaching that milestone, SpaceX decided to conduct a static fire test with Ship 30. And after taking to its social media platforms, SpaceX shared a 12-minute video of the firing, and believe me, it's quite a feat. We got to witness a never-before-seen angle, and from a distance, the moment the engine ignited, the billowing smoke and dust created an awe-inspiring and dramatic sight. This test was conducted to verify the effectiveness of Ship 30's recent modification to the heat shield. According to Elon Musk, the heat shield on Flight 5 will be twice as strong as the one used on Flight 4. He also stated that this improvement aims to address the issues encountered during the previous test. Fortunately, the static fire testing recorded successful results, as less vibration was observed and there were no visible tiles falling off the body of the ship. After the test was concluded, the vehicle was rolled out from the test site located at Boca Chica, Texas, and then rolled back to the production site. At this stage, Ship 30 only requires a final pre-launch test before heading to the launch site. While it's at the launch site, it will be paired with Booster 12 for the first time, and a wet dress rehearsal will likely be conducted. Although it seems that SpaceX is close to the point of hardware readiness, there is still another significant development to consider the chopstick arm. That's right, Elon Musk and SpaceX are developing a system known as Mechazilla, which features chopstick arms designed to catch the super heavy booster during its return to Earth. These large mechanical arms, when mounted on the launch tower, are meant to grab the descending booster, which will in turn allow for a precise and controlled landing. According to Musk, the aim of this approach is to make the booster recovery process more efficient by reducing the need for landing legs on the booster itself, ultimately saving weight and improving reusability. And since it's no secret that SpaceX's major goal with Flight 5 is to guide the giant booster through a controlled descent with the aim of accomplishing an exact landing on the Starbase launch mount, the anticipation is palpable not just within SpaceX, but also within the entire space community. While strengthening the heat shield is an important step towards addressing its past issues, there is another important consideration for this mission. A key factor is that attempting a booster catch on this flight could require changes to the launch license. This license, which has already been adjusted to allow multiple flights, currently only covers missions that adhere to the objectives of Flight 4. This means that adjusting the license to accommodate its new mission could be a significant challenge for SpaceX. This would also explain why, after Musk and the SpaceX team revealed a change of plans, everyone wondered if they had encountered a problem with the mission's legal requirements. Let's face it, if SpaceX is indeed attempting a booster catch, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, might need to get involved, and that legal work could take some time. However, in a recent online interview, Elon Musk just announced that the flight date would be early September. And just like we guessed, he disclosed that the continuous delay is due to the need to secure the FAA license before the launch can proceed. Well, now that we've explored the latest developments in Starship's testing and SpaceX's plans, let's consider the broader implications of this mission. How will these advancements shape the future of space exploration? Firstly, the development of innovative technologies like the Mechazilla chopstick arms will lead to a significant leap in rocket recovery techniques. If successful, this approach will not only revolutionize how rockets are launched and landed in the future, but it will also make space missions more cost-effective and sustainable. 
By reducing the need for landing legs, SpaceX intends to save weight and increase reusability. It is also important to note that the changes and enhancements that are being made to Starship and Booster 12 are more than just small improvements. They represent a shift toward a more superior and scalable approach to space travel. At this point, I think we can all agree that delay or not, the IFT-5 mission will lead to major advancements in the industry as a whole. And in fact, it appears that NASA is currently on board. The agency just recently picked Starship to be the first crewed lander for its Artemis program of moon exploration. Moving on to a more recent update, while SpaceX continues to refine and test Starship for its future goals of lunar and Mars missions, there have been whispers that the company is currently looking to expand its global reach. In a surprising move that highlights SpaceX's evolving strategy, three anonymous sources just recently revealed that SpaceX plans to establish its presence in Australia. In recent weeks, SpaceX has been in talks with US and Australian officials to land and recover one of its starships off the coast of Australia. According to anonymous sources, Elon Musk claims that enabling a bigger presence in Australia could bolster security ties between the two countries. This latest development comes on the heels of SpaceX's recent achievements in rocket recovery. Since a Starship rocket successfully made a controlled splashdown in the Indian Ocean for the first time in June, SpaceX has been eager to expand its testing campaign. If all goes well, SpaceX has secretly outlined a plan for its Australian International Recovery Operation. First, they intend to launch a Starship from a SpaceX facility in Texas. After the launch, the rocket would then land in the sea off the coast of Australia. Once it's in the water, it will be swiftly recovered and brought onto Australian territory. For this plan to move forward, however, the US would need to relax its export controls on advanced space technologies destined for Australia. Only then can SpaceX transport and use these technologies in Australia. With his plans for international expansion and continued goal of technological advancement, it appears that Elon Musk just made his first step toward enabling a bigger presence in the global industry. Well, as we eagerly await the launch of Starship Flight 5 and future developments, one thing is clear. SpaceX's vision for the future of space exploration is bigger and more exciting than ever before. Well, that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.